So the economy has been good to the travel and tourism industry. The last couple of years have been very positive. We continue to see growth in our industry. You just heard it from my friend Chris Nassetta at, at Hilton. We feel good about what we're seeing. Certain markets that we're in are starting to get overbuilt. If you look at a Nashville, if you look at a Miami, New York City adding a lot of hotel rooms. But the, the numbers are still fairly strong. Certainly a choppy market, what's happening with trade. These are signs that we continue to look at and worry about a little bit, but right now we're in a good place. You obviously watch interest rates as closely as anybody does given the industry you're in. And you have a new strategy which would suggest that you don't see rates as too punitive to your business. You're now building more than you're buying, so to speak. So Scott, for the last couple of years, going back three or four years, we acquired a couple of hotels, Lowe's Boston Hotel, Lowe's Chicago O'Hare, Minneapolis, Seattle. But then we decided, what is our competitive advantage? As you know, the big guys, the Hiltons, the Marriott's, they're asset light. We decided we like owning the real estate. And at Lowe's Corporation, we have access to equity that we can invest in hotels. So when you include the equity that we're putting in, and then, which is about $250 million right now of Lowe's equity, put in partner equity and debt, we're building right now in five new construction projects, $2 billion worth of hotels. So we feel good about the economy going forward because we have committed to a strong growth through development, through new construction. Does that reduce your exposure to rising rates or, or how, how does that work? I would imagine that you have to tap, tap capital regardless of whether it's for acquiring a property or building it out. Well, once again, we were fortunate that we have access to so Lowe's own. Hotels is a wholly owned subsidiary of Lowe's Corporation. So we can go to our parent for equity, but there are construction loans. And so certainly we are aware of where interest rates are going, but we feel still that we're in a good place because we're doing unique, one of a kind projects that really nobody else in our business, except maybe Omni out of Dallas, they have somewhat of a similar strategy. You look a year out and if rates, the, if the rate on the 10 year yield is a one full point higher. Does that change your world at all? Does it change how you look at the world? Not necessarily. Okay. These are long term projects. Mm -hmm. We're building for the next 10, 20, 30 years. We are not sellers. So with our partners, we plan to own these assets for a long time. And we're building unique properties with our partners at Universal, NBC Universal. We just opened our sixth hotel in Orlando. That brings us to 6,200 rooms. We have two more under construction, another 2,800 rooms. That's going to be 9,000 rooms. And we are working on projects in St. Louis, in Arlington, Texas, where there is a sports element. Mm -hmm. And then an 800-room convention center hotel in Kansas City.